What up, everyone? It's your boy, Satemangal, the Reverend of the Revolution, welcoming you to another edition of Your Daily Revolution, the podcast that helps you to wake up, turn your brain on, and to prosper every single day in every part of your life. Today's topic, visualization pulls the future into the present. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. It is 5.30 a.m. right now as I'm shooting this podcast, and I am sitting outside of the church getting ready to go play some basketball. Yep, early morning basketball at the church building, because that's how we roll in my family as I continue on the family reunion editions of the podcast. Now listen to me. As I'm driving to the church this morning, it's quiet in the car. My wife, right? She's got her Kobe's. I got my Kobe Bryant shoes on. And we're ready to do this thing. I start to visualize what I'm going to do on the court this morning. Now, this is a habit that I have, right? Stephen Covey calls it begin with the end of mind. But like we take it five layers deep. I call it clarity is power. What do you want? But if you take this principle of visualization, it takes me back to my football days. See, in 1999, I was a junior at Brigham Young University, and I was getting ready to start. Yeah, be a starter, and we were playing University of Washington, UW, at Lavelle Edwards Stadium in Provo, Utah. And I remember running out onto the field. The sun was setting in Provo, Utah. It was a Thursday night. It was beautiful. Like, sky was blue. The sunset was forcing red onto the clouds, like few clouds on the sky on the west horizon. We had our blue uniforms on, and it was super quiet. Now, I had envisioned and visualized this moment for a long time. I visualized myself as the starter, waiting at the line of scrimmage, waiting for the offense to come up to the line. I visualized myself in my stance. I visualized myself getting off the ball, placing my hands perfectly on the offensive lineman who I would trash, beat. I visualized myself beating him, making the tackle on the running back, visualized myself sacking the quarterback, getting up and celebrating. I visualized how it felt and and what, what I would go through. So that's visualization. Visualization pulls the future into the present. Now, the prosperity revolution is all about creating insights and distinctions and sharing with you principles. Today, there's the principle of what's called visualization. Right? And how you pull the future into the present. So what would this look like? In football, I was visualized everything. My moves, my steps, my celebration, beating the offensive lineman or beating whoever I was going up against, executing flawlessly on my assignment, and what a difference it would make. Visualization is powerful. Olympic athletes, swimmers, professional athletes, Athletes across the globe talk often about how they use this tip, this strategy, to increase performance. My question for you is, do you have a vision to even visualize? See, it's one thing to just create some cool little mission statement. And I remember back in the day when Seven Habits came out, everyone was talking about mission statements. But, you know, if we were to just get right to the point of of what really matters and what would produce results, what is your vision? What's the vision? What do you want to create? What does it need to look like? So let me give you a couple examples. In sports, you visualize yourself executing flawlessly on the moves, shooting the basket, hitting the ball, blocking the ball, catching the ball, whatever sport you're in. Like You you see yourself third person doing the moves and you put yourself in first person doing the moves. You close your eyes and you kind of bob and weave and move. This is like Olympic athletes, like high jumpers. You watch them right before they step up and run it and do their jump. Their eyes are closed and their their head's kind of bobbing as if it's step, step, step. And their head goes back like they're getting ready to jump over the bar. This is every great athlete. Every great high-performing athlete has used this principle, this, this tool of visualization. Now, my friends, what does this mean to you? is that you can use visualization today. You can use it when it comes to eating and fueling your body. Visualize yourself eating greens and avoiding the sugars and the flour and the carbs and all the things, the processed foods that just really aren't that great for you. Do you visualize yourself exercising, walking, sweating, grinding, 
getting better. When it comes to spirituality, can you visualize yourself? Praying, meditating, studying scripture, being kind to others, turning the other cheek, as Jesus said. See, visualizing yourself and the specific, what I call the NRAs, necessary required actions, requires that you actually have a vision. What is the vision for your life, for your body, for your health? What is the vision for your spirituality? What does it look like and what does it feel like? Why does that matter to you? What's the vision for you and your family? For example, I visualize my boys as teenagers talking to me and their mom, my wife. I visualize my boys working hard, overcoming adversity, standing up for truth, standing up for people who can't stand up for themselves. I visualize my boys being able to talk to me at all times about anything. I visualize my boys working hard in the classroom, on the field, in the weight room, in the workplace. I visualize my family, my wife, my children, my parents, my siblings. And even with business, I visualize and I've got a vision for what I want to create. A $10 million company and then a $50 million company. All while maintaining a great lifestyle of faith and family first. Yes, not working 80 to 90 hours a week. Look, if that's what you want and that gives you fulfillment and happiness, then you do it. For me, my vision has always been faith and family first. How could I live a God-honoring, God-first life and live the full measure of my creation? How can I do the things that I was born and called to do? And in business right now, the vision is downloaded. And here, here's a distinction with this. Can you see what you want for your life? Have you taken time to describe the absolute perfect vision as much as it can be? Right now in my business, I'm starting to visualize and envision employees, more employees than I currently have, team members, board a board of directors, a CEO, not me. I'm not going to be the CEO. I'm going to be Satema. Right? I have people that work for me. I have people that make money with me and alongside with me. Why? Because that's the vision that I see. I want to, as I call principle number seven, grow and expand eternally. Purpose of existence, eternal expansion, and value creation. I visualize these things. Even as simple as this all came about from coming to the church, playing basketball, and visualizing myself pulling a drop step, a fade away, right, dribbling with my left hand, leaning in to the right, stepping back, and busting the three-pointer like a LeBron James or a Steph Curry. And this lesson came about, this podcast came about, why? Because I want to grow. I want to be a five-star daddy, and I am a five-star daddy, and I am a five-star husband. I am powerful. Where there is no vision, the Bible says, the people perish. So you can go along in life and just run around like a chicken with the head cut off, going from busy work to busy work to scrolling on your phone to busy work to busy work to scrolling on your phone, or you can create a very clear vision for your company, for your employees, for your family, for you. And think about this. You aren't the only one who must see this vision. If you have a company and employees and people, your entire company, employees, team, board of directors, everyone must see this vision. They must see it, hear it, and feel it. How often? Every single day, because that's what you're working for. What I found to be true is if you don't have the vision and you and your spouse don't have the same vision and you're not seeing the same vision and they're not feeling the same vision, the chances of you ever getting that vision are, well, zero. Everyone must be on the same page. Everyone must be seeing the same thing. And there's no time to run around and do all kinds of things that don't matter. This is why focus is critical inside of the game of visualization. So a couple questions for you. A few questions. Number one, do you have a vision for your life because clarity is power. And when I say vision, I mean specific, detailed. The home you live in, the home you raise your children in, the lifestyle, the car that you drive to work or do you commute to work. 
the clothes that you wear, how you feel about yourself, how you view yourself, the interaction of you and your employees, the interaction with you and your family and your spouse and your children. What does that look like at family reunions? Hey, I'm at a family reunion. This all came about because of the vision of someone who said it's time to begin this family reunion. Brothers and sisters, don't let life pass you by. Get clear about what you want. Visualize it, envision it, and use the tip of visualization to help you to perform, to get focused, to overcome the burdens and the things that would stop you dead in your tracks. I know that if you visualize yourself getting the sacks, making the tackles, hitting the ball, going on the date, being present with your children, I know that if you visualize yourself doing what's required, living the life you truly want to live, I know that if you will do those things, you will be blessed. You will reap the benefits. You will see things come to pass and come to fruition. If you don't have a vision, a clear outcome, a deep why, and you're not communicating that message to you, your family, your team, you won't make it. My question for you, what will you do? This is your boy, Satemangala, reminding you, if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it will require you to get into a relentless pursuit with a ruthless commitment to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of your mountains where your prize, promised lands, and possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The prosperity revolution has begun. Will you join us? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.